Hey there, Fletcher from All Things Overlanding here, and today I'm going to be talking about this All Powers Power Bank. This thing actually comes as a combo. It comes with a 200 watt flexible solar panel, which I'm really excited about. So I left it in the box because I want to show you how this thing was packaged. I want to show you how it came because it's actually really impressive for a budget minded power bank. So again, I'm going to unbox it. I'm going to show you all the features. This is not a review. I'm not going to talk anything about the longevity or anything. I'm going to have to test it more for that. But I wanted to show you this as an option and kind of show you the features and stuff. So if you want to learn more about the All Powers R600 solar panel slash portable power bank combo, Stay tuned. When I let you go, ooh, I just pull you closer. Ooh, I can't understand where it came from, but you got it, my God. It, it began in the land of the sandstorm. I fought it, though I wanted it. How are you going to do with what you get? All right, guys, so like I mentioned, I wanted to show you this because when I opened it, I was actually really impressed with how they packaged this thing up. So when you open it, right on top of you, you've got a little bag. And I was like, hmm, what is that? So when you open it up, what it actually is, is connections for your solar panel to the unit. So the thing about this is, since it is a portable power bank, the intention isn't necessarily to have it plugged into the solar all the time. So the nice thing is you can take it around, you can you know take it over by your camp chair, you can throw it up in your rooftop tent, you can use it wherever you need to. But what I'm thinking of doing is taking this big flexible solar panel and throwing it up on top of my rooftop tent and then running this cord down from it to the bottom of the rooftop tent. And then when I need to charge the power bank, I can just grab this cord and attach it to the power bank and charge it while I'm on a trip or while I'm driving down the highway. And I get it all charged up off the solar. And then, or if I'm parked at camp and I don't have anywhere to go and I need to charge it up, I can charge it off of the solar. Otherwise it'll just be separate and portable. So, but that is the thing that comes on the top there. And right below that is this really nicely packaged sort of instruction manual for the warranty and everything. And when you open that up, it's, again, it's got all the social media stuff, but then it has a, an entire book and it's actually really good. Like it talks a lot about the solar panel, how to charge it off wall power, all the frequently asked questions, what comes in the package, all that sort of stuff. So it does have a good amount of information in it. These things are typically pretty straightforward. So I'm not going to read that. We're just going to look at it. Then over here, there is this nice little bag that came out. And I'm like, what is this, right? What this is, is it's your AC plug. Um, what I'm going to do too, at least for now, until I get the solar panel installed, is I'm going to throw the AC plug and the solar thing in this bag just so I've got them. But I mean, how nice of a thought is that to have this nice little cloth zipper bag to keep the power cables in so they stay straight and don't get mixed up with other things, keeps dust off of them, things like that. So it'd be kind of nice to throw this in your drawer system if you have one or throw it under your seat or something in your vehicle so you've got that. Again, if you don't hard mount the solar panel, then you can put the solar panel wherever you want. Then when you remove this cover from the top, this is the power bank. And I mean, this thing is really sharp. Like it's got a good little form factor. It looks really nice. It's also surprisingly light and I'll put the weight up on the screen here for you. But so let's dive into this thing in a little more detail. All right, so let's get into the power bank itself. Again, I just got this thing. I have not charged it or anything. So we will see how much power it has. I'm gonna hold the power button there for a few seconds. So before even charging, it's already at 69%. They obviously have to ship it, you know, partially charged just for safety because it's a lithium battery. But so I'm gonna throw the dimensions up here on the screen of how long it is how tall it is, and then how deep it is, so that you've got those. I'm also gonna throw the weight up here on the screen, but now let's talk a little bit about features. All right, so starting on the top here, one thing that I really like is it has wireless charging. So if you have a smartphone and uh, you don't wanna mess with cords or you forget your cord, which has happened to me on more than one occasion, you can just drop it on the top here and it will wirelessly charge. It will automatically detect that, kick on the power and wirelessly charge your device while it sits on top. So you can still see it, you still have access to it. If you need to pick it up, you can pick it up and take it. But uh, while it's sitting on this, it's charging, which is really nice. Uh, also, this handle folds down flat. So, you know, if you need to pick it up and take it somewhere, you've got the handle but then it folds right back down in there. There are a lot of these power banks that have like the permanently mounted uh, hard molded plastic handles. And those are not quite my favorite because they get caught on things. They get hung up on things. They make it a weird shape. This is more of like a cube, which I like because it makes packing it a lot easier. Now over here on the side is another cool feature. This is basically your charging bay, if you will. So 
when you pop this little door open that protects it from the weather and things like that, you've got your AC plug over there, you've got your solar plug over here, and then you've also got a fuse reset. So if you happen to overpower it or do something that you shouldn't to it and it shuts itself down, it does have protection built in, but then you can hit that button and you can reset the thing so that you can keep using it. On the other side, just an empty bank. It does have some venting on here so that it can cool itself if it starts to warm up. But then the front is where all the magic actually happens. All right, so let's start with the front of this thing and let's lead in with a few specs on this unit. So the reason that it's called the R600 is because the AC inverter is a pure sine wave inverter that's built into it for these AC plugs. And that thing is rated to 600 watts. That is the output from the inverter. That's why it's called the R600. The actual capacity of the battery is 299 watts. So call it a 300 watt power station. Now there are a lot of 300 watt power stations out there on the market. For a lot of those that are about the same price and capacity as this unit, you don't get a solar panel, which you get with this combo. Now here's the other thing too, is there's nothing that says you couldn't use that solar panel with another unit. You wouldn't have to use the proprietary cords. It's still just a solar panel. So as long as you had a controller or some sort of power management, you could also use that solar panel with other things and then just use this as a portable power bank to bring with you to charge your small electronics or to run small AC things so you don't have to mess with an inverter, say on your house battery or things like that. All right, so the battery chemistry of this power bank is LiPo 4. What that means if you're not familiar with power banks or if you haven't done a lot of research yet on these sort of power banks is that is probably the best uh, battery chemistry that you can get. So there are different types of batteries and basically the chemistry determines how many times you can recharge it. Um, they do say on their website that this thing can be charged 3,500 times. So 3,500 cycles of, of running it down and then charging it back up and you'll still have about 80% of the life left in the battery after 3,500 charges. So again, it's gonna last for a really long time, which I like. It's not one of those like AGM type batteries or lead acid battery that you can only charge up 500 times. You can charge this thing 3,500 times and still have 80% of the battery life. So again, depending on how much you use it, this thing should last for years, which is really nice. Um, the wireless charging on the top is a 15 watt output, which is really nice. A lot of those are 10. So you're gonna get a little bit faster charge off this than a lot of the ones that I've seen. Even the one that's built into my truck is only a 10 watt, I believe. So this is a faster charging uh, wireless connection, which is great. Then down here on the front for the the USB plugs, you've got two USB-Cs and then you've got two USB-As. The USB-Cs are a 100 watt output and then the USB-A is an 18 watt output, which is still pretty good output. So you should be able to charge your devices again faster than you would with a lot of them that are maybe 15 or 10 watts. Uh, so just FYI, you've got a couple there. Now these USB-Cs for me are still a little less common, although they are becoming more and more common all the time for USB-C to USB-C. The majority of my stuff is USB-A to USB-C. So I will probably be using these more than the top ones, but again, more and more every day, things are coming out with USB-C to USB-C. So eventually someday we'll probably just have all USB-C, which will be kind of nice, but this does support both, so you've got options. Another thing that I really like is you can turn on and off the different sections so that you can control your battery usage, right? So the other thing is like if you had multiple things plugged in here and you wanted to conserve your battery or your phone had charged up and you kind of wanted to save it, you could hit that button and turn it off without having to unplug everything. You could just kind of control what's on and what's off. Same with the AC stuff. When you hit that, you can see a little plug pop up there. That means that your AC is turned on. When you hit this one, the little DC plug to the car and the USB the little USB plug thing lights up there. So you do get some indications that those things are on. There's also a little light here that you can see comes on and goes off when you turn them off. It does come with two AC plugs. Now they are pretty standardized, like universal three prong plugs. So you could run pretty much anything up to 600 watts on this battery bank, which is really nice. And again, you've got two of them and it's pure sine wave. So it's gonna get the most efficient use of that power out of the battery that it can. And then sort of the one final thing is you do have this light here. Now it has two settings. So basically there's on and then there's slightly brighter. So if you have this thing sitting on a table at camp, for example, and you need to light up the area or you have kids running around, you could hit this light. Then the third mode, if you want to call it that, is that sort of flashing emergency mode. Now, another thing that I really like is there's this master on off switch, right? So again, you could control these independently, or you could just hold the main power button for a few seconds and then turn the whole thing off. It's also got battery saving, so as you might have seen earlier in the video, uh, when you don't use it for a long time, this display dims significantly so that it takes less power. So I like that they're committed to, you know, trying to make this thing as efficient as they possibly can. And again, for the size of it and just the overall form factor of it, it's a really nice little portable power bank, especially given the fact that you can add solar charging to it as you need it. 
All right, guys, so that will do it for the all power R600 unit combo with solar panel and the portable power bank. Again, for someone just starting out in dispersed camping or overlanding or regular camping or, or someone just looking for like a pretty value priced uh, option for a power bank, this thing has a lot of really nice features on it. And uh, with the independent controls, it matches some of the features of the higher name, more expensive brands. Also, if you are just sort of a casual person, you just want this to be able to take to like a cabin or something where you maybe don't have power and you want to be able to charge your stuff up, you may not need the solar combo. So I'm going to put links in the description down below to just the power bank and then also the power bank and the solar combo. It just kind of depends on your needs, right? But I like that they have different options for you and that they're supporting solar because I love solar personally. When I go on longer trips or things like that, or right now I'm out in the middle of the woods, if I don't have the ability to sort of charge things up, that's kind of a deal killer. But with something like this that you could charge off solar, it gives you a lot of flexibility, which I really like. So again, that will do it for the All Powers R600 combo. I hope that that was helpful for you. Of course, if you have any questions or anything like that, post up in the comments down below. I'm happy to answer them. Also in the description below will be links to all my other social channels. So wherever you'd like to come hang out, I'd love to have you as a subscriber, wherever you want to chat. Then there's also a link to my website where I've got funny camping and overlanding themed stickers and patches on there, Velcro backed patches, uh, super high quality stuff. Lots of people have them and like them. So if you're into that kind of thing, if you're looking for some sort of funny uh, patches, like I hate people so I camp or don't don't burn your wiener and it's a hot dog, that kind of thing. You know, dad jokes. I'm a dad, so that makes sense. Uh, check out those stickers and patches through that link to my website down below. And then, of course, like I mentioned, there will be a link to the power bank and all the different options for it. So check that out if you want to pick one up. And then last but not least, there are links to my Patreon group where we have a 24-7 Discord. And we all kind of chat with each other about gear and trips and rigs and things like that. And then there's the Facebook group called Newbie Overlander. So again, if you are brand new to overlanding, if you've just kind of heard of it and you're falling down the rabbit hole and you're kind of tired of getting bullied or, or beat up on for asking questions in the bigger groups, definitely check this group out. It's still over 14,000 members at the time of recording this video and it's growing every day. So uh, we encourage people to help each other out, not just crap on each other, right? So if you're looking for some place that is a little bit more uh, nice and helpful, definitely check that out. But again, thanks so much for watching. If the video was helpful, click that like button. If you're not already, make sure to click that subscribe button. I do a couple videos every week, usually some sort of like a gear video and then general basic overlanding stuff. So if you're into any of that stuff, I'd love to have you as a subscriber and I appreciate you watching. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.